face the midnight raven and today i thought i would just do a little mini vlog just to give you an update so i have been off work i think nine days um i go back to work in like 11 days um i'm due to go back to work on the 3rd of september um and i'm actually looking forward to going back you never know how much you miss work until you're not working um, but I have took time for myself. Look at this gorgeous, beautiful day. Um, I have took time for myself. I have spent time with family. I have spent time with my sons. I've spent a little time for myself. I've gone for walks. You know, I've gone a little bit of retail therapy, which always helps. Um, and I've just took that little bit of time that I haven't over the last maybe the 18 months for myself. Um, if you already have been to my channel, you already know my story. I've had a rough year. Um, I've lost some friends. Um, they died. And then um, I've had some issues um, at work, which I can't talk about. But I've had kind of a on and off year. Good parts followed by bad parts, but the bad parts seem to outweigh the good, <laughs> um, unfortunately. Uh, so there's that. So um, I have spent some time with my sons. I've spent a lot more time with them than I have recently. Um, I went to see Midnight, my, my cat, who's at my ex. I went to go see him, gave him his flea treatment, you know, made his month, you know. <laughs> Little things I have to do um, to keep a bit of normality. I've been able to start tidying my flat a bit more because the last couple of months I've been a little bit off and a little bit slack. But I have now started to get more organised. Um, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I'd come home from work and honestly I just sort of like... And I just didn't, I just didn't have anything left in me when I came home. Um, I kind of felt a bit deflated and even on my days off, I just felt just deflated. It was more like a, just a needing to like recuperate. Um, some things have been taking it out on me, um, especially on my mental health. That had suffered greatly over the last maybe nine months. Um, and then over the last sort of three or four months, things just progressively got worse. So I did what I thought was right. And I went to a doctor and I got seen and I told him everything that was going on. And it was a lovely lady doctor and she was really um, happy I'd come in because I did seem as though I was in a kind of a little bit of a bad place. Uh, nothing too serious. It's It's nothing like you know, the worst case scenario of depression and, um, you know, self-harm and that kind of thing. None of that had come anywhere near my mind. So she was really happy that I'd come in at this particular time where I felt low, deflated, not motivated, low, and um, was just struggling. Um, because it's always a good thing to admit that you have something wrong at the right time and try and catch it before it gets worse. So I have tried to keep um, active while non-active. I wanted to take time for myself, but I also wanted to see my, like I said, my family and stuff. Um, but I've also spent time at home, you know, apart from housework. I haven't just done housework because, honestly, that would just be so boring. Um, but I have occupied myself with a hobby, um, thanks to my boss, Lisa, who probably doesn't watch my videos, but... Mm, Lisa um she had one day at work been slightly bored and she'd started doing a diamond art and unfortunately I caught the bug so I did some diamond art and I did some diamond art and I did some diamond art <laughs> it's amazing what I can do in a week <laughs> and I did some diamond art and you can see now why my boss likes me at work because I have a work ethic of when I start something, I finish something and I've done them four in, in a week. And I've also started a new one, which I'm not going to show you yet because it's a bigger one. Uh, and you can see the finished article in 
due course but it is a wolf now if you don't know i have a t-shirt that has a massive wolf on it kind of like my raven one that if you've seen my outfit the day video you would have seen that uh, but it's like this one, but it's a wolf one, and it's got little gems in that over it as well. It's kind of the same kind of wolf, but it's kind of cool. It's like a bluey green wolf, so that's coming um, up in a future vlog down the line. Um, probably next week, because probably won't take me that long to finish it. Um, <laughs> whether that's good or bad, I don't know, because <laughs> um, I don't have any more. <laughs> I'd need to go out and buy some. But yeah, I have tidied my desk. I've tidied all my um, business stuff. I sell on Facebook Marketplace. And I'd love to do car boots. If there's a man out there that would like to date me, who'd like to do car boots with me, I'd love to do car boots. Um, but I don't drive, and I can't drive. Um, but if I had a car, I'd be at car boots every weekend. And I would probably make a ton of money. I have a lot of stuff to sell at car boots. I tell you, a ton of stuff. I, I could be minted with money right now. I have everything from collectibles to comic stuff to stuff for women, stuff for men. I have stuff, just stuff, lots of stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I also uh, made a purchase of a new mirror, but that was a while ago, but I don't think I show it to you made a purchase of a mirror to do my everything five pound videos more effectively um so that i had a way of filming a full length view of whatever item um it was because i can stand it on the floor and stand in the hallway and get a full length or i can get an up close um but um yeah i've i've felt somewhat better um, there are issues that are out of my control, obviously, in, in everyone's life. You're going to find stuff that you you can't control that pulls you down because you wish you had control and, and you don't. Um, but outside is what's keeping me positive. It's a little bit grey today and a little bit blue. And I think that's cool because you've got the dark side on one side, the grey darkness. And on the other side, you've got the blue light. So it's like a combination of light and dark, um, kind of like my life night now. A bit of darkness, but then you get a bit of light shine through, you know, kind of like the light shining through the clouds that are dark. Trying to see the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel scenario that um, I won't feel like this forever. Um, I don't want to feel like this forever, believe me, it, it, it's no fun feeling like this. Um, you know, I felt some things that I can't tell on here. Um, I felt proper low sometimes. Nothing as bad as self-harm or severe depression or bad thoughts, nothing to that extent. We're not talking like proper dark, we're just talking of problems of maybe self-worth, uh, belief in myself, questioning myself, constantly believing that I need to strive for more, um, which does my head in, that I constantly believe that I'm not doing enough, I'm not doing it how I should, I'm not doing it as good as I could, and I constantly, constantly badger myself when I do something, and I'm like, is this good? Is this your best work? And I'm like, seriously, girl, get a grip. Like, come on. But I do it all the time. Ask any of my work colleagues. I constantly look at my displays and I go, is this my best work? Could I do better? Where am I going wrong? And I spend hours questioning myself. It's it's a horrible thing to, to do to yourself, is to constantly question yourself. Because then you're talking yourself um, down or you're making yourself feel worse and that's one of my issues is that I strive I won't say for perfection let's not go too crazy but I do strive to show off my best because I know I can be better sometimes than what I do and that can have an ill effect on me because then I overwork myself or I push myself too hard or um 
I let people throw too much at me, believing I can carry it on because I've done it before. And sometimes I just, I'm just not quite there to have everything thrown at me. And I should realize those points and be like, no, I can't handle this. I need to take one thing at a time, but I don't. <laughs> and there are other factors um, that are concerning um, work-wise. I can't really say anything else. Um, but... Hopefully they will be rectified before I go back to work and then I can go back to work with a spring in my step um, and a more positive outlook on life. So I'm sorry this has been a really down video, but I do have people on YouTube, uh, friends that are concerned for me and um, I'm so happy that you have messaged me um I really just put a smile on my face to know that people do care in my YouTube community and that you're not just numbers you are friends as well but if you want to like and subscribe and join me on my journey of healing and it's a journey so yeah I've got plenty of other content coming up I don't know when like I said Things have been a bit rough lately. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Don't let my negativeness overshadow the fact that there could be light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I'm still off work until the 2nd. I go back the 3rd. And hopefully I feel more positive by then. Because right now I'm a little on the fence. And it's good to be honest with yourself. Of how you're feeling. Like and subscribe and I will see you very soon for another update. Take care of your mental health. Thanks for watching.